shopping for the rest of June for you guys, all right? That's just for Libra. I got into Spirit Universe. That will help Libra the rest of June. Get one more. Here we go. All right, Libra. So we have the Nine of Wands in the reverse, King of Wands also in the reverse, and the Ace of Cups upright, all right? So... All right, we got the Nine of Wands and the King of Wands in the reverse, huh? A lot of fiery energy for the month of June right now, but I feel like it's misguided energy, all right, uh, Libras? A lot of you guys may be feeling as if your passions that you have within yourself, they don't have an outlet. They don't have anywhere to go. Um, you may feel a bit confused about your current direction um, and where you actually see yourself headed, all right? Be careful not to be too impulsive during this time period. You guys could get a lot of random ideas coming to you and yeah, they could feel, you know, amazing, but some of them are just going to be dead ends that are going to exhaust you, all right? Towards the end of the month, you could just be feeling very exhausted, very burnt out with um, your energy. You could have just tried, you could have just been trying so many things over the last few months, weeks, years, and they just haven't panned out the way that you thought <laughs> that they would have, okay? But it's all right. Every single situation, whether it fails, whether it succeeds, it is a learning lesson at the end of the day. Um, just be prepared to move in a way that you may not be familiar with, all right? Don't let your expectations keep you from moving, okay? You could have a lot of high expectations that are honestly pretty unachievable um, at this moment because a lot of you guys are trying to skip the baby steps. It's like you have major goals, you want to be in a, a particular position, but you're not understanding that there's a, a million little steps in between. And so if you can really kind of hone in on your creative energies um, at the rest of this month and really, really focus on where you're trying to go, um, you won't feel so burnt out and exhausted. Instead of working overtime, just work smarter. Try to really understand where your energy should go. All right. Instead of trying 10 million things, maybe just try two or three things that you know you'd be really good at or you see working out for yourself really well. All right. I just feel like a lot of you Libras are really trying to um, exhaust some type of creative energy. You're really trying to put yourself out there creatively and hopefully you're hoping for something to come back to you in return. That's really going to satisfy you guys. All right. Now in the love department, the Ace of Cups here. This is really good, Libras. You guys could have something new coming in in regards to love. This could be an energy that you consider to be a soulmate. This could be a water sign, a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. Or this could just be someone who really sparks that emotion within yourself. I feel like new love at the end of June is very, very um, hopeful. It's a hopeful energy. You feel good when it comes to love. You feel like you are attractive and you feel like, um, you know, this new love may actually be your muse. It may be your creative outlet. It may be uh, sparking your guys' creativity in a way that you haven't had it, you know, sparked before. Um, this Ace of Cups is great. It's giving you a, a clean slate. I feel like if this is love, this is a total new energy. This is not anything from the past. It's not dealing with anything from the past. This is about brand new beginnings and brand new situations. Okay. So, um, that's really dope. I'm going to go ahead and pull, um, some romance cards and pull one romance card actually. Okay. So healing family issues, you guys. There could be a time here in June. This is actually Father's Day right um, right now today. So it says your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So there could be some healing between you and your parents um, or the person who comes into your life and their parents. But, um, you know, it could particularly be dealing with women and their fathers. This is Father's Day. So, you know, if you're able to kind of heal and bridge that gap between your own father, it may... Um, allow for more male energy to kind of flow into your life. Um, and then this could just be dealing with, you know, 
anyone, even if it's with your mother or with an aunt or family, your brother, your sisters, it could just be you forgiving those closest to you. And because of that healing type of energy that you have put out there, you get that in return. So you could attract people who are very nurturing, who are very forgiving. Um, and you could attract people who, who, you know, have a large family or you may be involved in a love interest family. Um, but overall Libras, I feel like this is a very good month for you guys. If you guys can just kind of, um, reel in your creative energy and, you know, send it in the direction that's best for you. I think you guys will unlock some new positive people and opportunities into your life this month. All right. So thank you guys so much. If you're looking for personal reading, go to my website, PiscesRUs.com. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you later. Bye.